to our ESC Advanced Next Guide. In order to cover the requirements, abilities, common tactics, including substantial changes, and mainly over the mage DPS role. The minimum requirements include 70 strength, 70 range, 70 constitution, and 70 agility. The recommended requirements include 95 magic, 95 ranged, 95 defense, 95 constitution, 96 summoning, 96 hope lore, 300 MA rank, Ritual of the Marjorat, Desert Treasure, Mage Rain Completion, Arcane Stream Necklace, and Temple of Sanderstead. To obtain the Frozen Key to gain access to the ancient prison where Nex resides, you must acquire the four pieces of the key. There is a piece in each of the gold's strongholds to be found. Will followers have a chance of dropping it? For the spell, I use Blood Barrage, but any Surge or Barrage is fine. For Smoked Phase, activate your Fleck Magic, stay MD at all times, avoid their arrows by stepping up the middle, and avoid cough by staying away from other teammates. Next, we'll pull random players towards her, stunning them. Freedom can be used if you get pulled, if needed, to get away. The priority of spells is below, follow from left to right to max DPS. For all minion phases, equip range weapon ASAP when the minion is called, change action bars accordingly for range, and keep the deflection curse up from the phase you were previously in. Watch out for next abilities from the previous phase also. Rapid Fire and Bombardment will two-shot the minions if your whole team is onto it. All basic ranged abilities should be used to keep high adrenaline. For Shadow Phase, activate Deflect Range and stay far away from Nex as far as possible. Avoid Shadow Bomb if it appears underneath you by stepping off. Keep your cursor ready as you won't have much time. Surge can be used to get away from Nex if she's on top of you and you're taking constant heavy damage. The priority of abilities is shown from left to right and is almost the same as Smoke Phase. You won't be using Dragon Breath as you won't be MD at all. For Blood Phase, activate Deflect Mage and stay MD at all times. Next we'll Siphon and while she is siphoning you will not want to hit her as any hit will heal her. When she siphons, hit the Blood Reavers and deploy a Dreadnip. Keep your prayer low as she halves it with a Blood Sacrifice. She attacks 5 times after the Blood Sacrifice and then she will Siphon. Do not use any Bleeds aka Combust as these will heal her. For Ice Phase, keep Deflect Magic on and stay together as a group. MD is not required anymore and the Containless ability will hit close players and also sometimes little spikes will come towards you. If you see these, run away. If you get imprisoned, activate freedom so you can eat and teammates need to break the prisons by spamming icicles to avoid the prisoner taking damage. The priority of abilities is the same as smoke phase. For Zara's phase, keep deflect magic on and stay MD at all times. This phase is fairly simple, all you really need to do is DPS her down. Upon Nexus' death, run away as she will use Wrath. Finally, use Regenerate after when you're out of combat if you have any adrenaline left over. This will heal you up. Now I'm going to talk briefly on the gear and inventory setups. Mainly on the mage base, but if you were to range, use equivalent gear. For the gear and invent, use it approximately what I've used here. And fill your beast of burden with rock tails. Gano and subjection are fine. Use what is available to you. Make sure you always have the glaze boots active when you go to next. The code is DKQ. It boosts offensive and defensive stats. I'm now going to show you a kill in four man using mage. I will point out anything relevant. On spawn, you want to use an overload and a prayer renewal as she spawns. Stay MD and make sure your prayers are up. As you can see, I stepped out there and stepped back in quickly as she came down and got straight back onto her. As you can see, players just took a cough as they were close, it was transferred to everyone. I avoided it as I was away from them. I changed to range on the way over and we all used rapid fire and bombardment and destroyed the minion. As you can see we are not MD here and I have the wrong prayer on. I should be using deflect range. This is a prime example of how much damage you would take compared to the other players if you watch closely here. I avoided shadow bombs then by stepping off. You just have to be ready and know they're coming. As she called Umbra, 
I put my range weapon on as soon as possible and we go over and it does extremely fast as it should. We move over to the door for the blood phase and wait for the tag. As you can see, someone hit her on the siphon here. We hit the reavers once or twice each and threw a dreadnip on. I'm going to count from the blood sack. One, two, three, four, five. You should now be off. She siphons and we hit the reavers again. And then we are back on the next. She has called Krua and we head over, put our range weapon on the way over and get the action bar up. It dies fairly quick, as it should. We're now on ice phase. She uses contain this and our step away. You can see in the top left corner, there's little spikes that hit the player. Now the player got put into a prison. We spam click and he gets out safely. Glacis is called and we head over with our range weapons. Sometimes Nix will run on top of you and you can't get away from the contain this. Just get your health back up and continue. Also, sometimes it is not possible to get people out of prison. Try to use freedom as soon as possible and eat up if you can to avoid the KO. We are now on Zara's phase and it is fairly straightforward. We just DPS her down as fast as possible. We make sure we're staying in MD and if she moves, make sure to get MD ASAP. Make sure you're ready for Wrath so you can run away. Use Regenerate out of combat to get your health back up. This concludes my guide. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe. Good luck, and have a good one.